Also approved at today's Austin Council meeting was the purchase of some new software the police department says will help them track gangs and their members. But not everyone thinks it's such a smart investment. The tracking system could put people in a gang database even if they've never committed a crime. KXAN's Chris Sadegi explains why that's more information than some are willing to give up. APD asked for and got the $300,000 they needed on Thursday. Their way of tracking gang members was old, and they needed an upgrade to go along with their brand new system. The benefit of the new system is that it will be integrated uh, or available uh, through our regional intelligence center. The same center that was at the middle of so much controversy last year. And for those who were skeptical about it from the beginning, they're still waiting for the city council to start holding their promises. We're bringing in more and more software every day to add to this, and we still do not have adequate citizen oversight. John Bush with Texans for Accountable Government says the council still does not have a community advocate to help balance the power at the center, power that grew larger on Thursday with new gang tracking software, software that has set criteria for what deems a gang member. Document a gang member, gang initiation, or participating in a gang act, it gets in the database. For example, Jonathan Contreras recently pled guilty for his part in a gang initiation last year that led to the death of an elderly woman. Under the database, anyone associated with Contreras in that incident or others will be listed no matter what their part in the crime. It leads us back. It's just connect the dots. But that connecting is being made to even the smallest of dots, according to Bush. One of the criteria the new software considers is clothing associated with gangs. So a 13-year-old could be mixed up with the wrong crowd, and then they could see that the kid wears red or has colored shoelaces, and those two criteria alone are enough to be put in this database. Chris Sadegi, KXAN, Austin News.